Hey guys, it's Miron who's speaking for the stars and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing another digital work, but this time we are doing character designing. So the last time I uploaded something character design related was last year, I think. And I haven't really been doing a lot of them. Usually my production on these things takes some time. Many because they actually do take a lot of time to work on. And they usually get um, pushed aside by other drawings and projects and time's limited so I couldn't work on them as fast as I usually would wish I could work on them but that's a different matter altogether anyway <laughs> this is Kalirian Orina he is one of my original characters he's basically a dragon that can have a humanoid form that takes shape more to the elvish side of things that's basically it he has red scales, so he's more his he red hair, in other words, I guess. Um, yeah, he's an old character. His name used to be something else. And I tweaked it a little bit because it was a little bit cringy. <laughs> the old one was a little bit cringy. I don't even want to say it anymore because it's a little bit embarrassing. Especially if you look at my current history of works, you'll definitely make the connection. So. No, <laughs> I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> uh, right, so we're doing a character design for him. Uh, today we'll be working on the base, which is the character himself, and basically having almost no clothes. We'll also be doing the, right now the sketching of the potential designs and layering system that I will go with, and we'll also be coloring him. So the actual clothes will be in another video. I can't say when that video will come out, especially since I'm not actually done drawing those clothes yet. So you'll see it in a different time. I'll just link that video back to this if if I do remember to do that. But yeah, we'll be having some doll designing fun. So if you're not familiar with the character design system, it's basically a layered system where you can toggle on and off several outfits. So if you're familiar with those little paper dolls that you used to have when you were younger, that's basically the idea that I had when I first developed the system. So you have the base character uh, with no clothes on, and then I would usually have one layer on top that's like a shirt, pants, shoes, so that's the basic outfit, and then you can layer on um, the second layer would be like the coat, the jackets, um, maybe armor, things like that. The third layer can be smaller details like accessories, scarves, belts, swords, things that you can plugle off easily. And that's how my layering system works. So if you look at the PNG exports of it, it's um, you can just like put them on top of each other to build the outfit. But I haven't really implemented that for anything since I haven't taken commissions in such a long time. Like the last character, de character design commission I took was from my best friend and that was years and years and years ago. It, it was already a similar system but that was years ago. So no one has really seen my style yet. Eh. I mean, if you play Fate Grand Order, it's somewhat similar for, for servants that change outfits or the outfits get more elaborate as the ascensions go up. It was similar to that, um, but I wasn't influenced by that when I made the system at the time. Oh well, it's just it's for fun. Actually, I keep on saying it. I, I want to keep on making more of these, but honestly, they take a lot of time to work on. I actually have uh, three designs already in stock that I want to work on, but Cal's not done, so I have to finish him off first. But yeah, yeah. Also, while we're here at the lining phase, take this as your warning. If you're uncomfortable with semi, pretty much a naked guy, um, you might want to watch this sometime else. Or if you're in an awkward place, like, you know, stream it on your TV or something. <laughs> if you're uncomfortable that, with that, you feel free to, you know, click off the video. There's nothing particularly scandalous really, 
um, he's wearing underwear anyway. But if you feel like rendering skin and muscles is a little bit weird, then go ahead and watch something else. <laughs> Maybe you want to watch that Merlin video I did last last week. That's a little bit less scandalous. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but if you're fine with everything, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, yeah, it's been a while and I really enjoy character designing. I just don't have the time. So right now we're working on the flats. Um, do I work on the flats completely? I think I do. So my style changes actually per, per drawing. Sometimes I just lay down all the flat colors first and then do the rendering later But if it's really really detailed, I sometimes go in per part so maybe I do Maybe I render the hair first and then the eyes and then the skin Kind of depends on my mood for that day Still pretty fun So maybe you notice here If you've been watching me for quite some time already um, I'm actually not using the magic wand tool and that used to be something I used to work with a lot because it's fast and it's pretty accurate, especially for clips to Well, actually even Photoshop is really accurate nowadays. It's pretty accurate, it's easy to work with, you can cover large swatches of area right away. My issue became with that is that, of course, between lines and selections, there's going to be space where you have to fill in with paint still. And I kind of have a hard... I have... A harder time filling in those spaces more between the lines and just actually coloring the entire thing manually so for now I'm doing it manually like I would with colored pencils so eh, I just got it out of the video so it's probably fine but yeah I'm just you know trying to find what's best for me in terms of my style and my production style I guess It's actually funny, if you were watching me draw this thing on Twitch, which I usually livestream my digital works anyway, uh, which you can watch at twitch.tv slash speaker the stars. <laughs> um, what was I saying? If you're watching me doing this on Twitch, uh, I spent like one session just browsing Pinterest and Google for a post that I could use. Uh, I was trying to find a post that wasn't too generic or too boring or you know, the typical action jumping down type of pose. I was looking for something like chill and leaning back, kind of cool looking, that would show off enough the outfit and the details that I don't need to do like zoom ins on certain outfits or I don't need to worry about making this detail and it not being visible. Thankfully, the design this time is symmetrical. Usually, I do asymmetrical stuff, so I have to use a pose that shows both sides of their body. But since it's symmetrical this time, I don't need to worry about it too much. Um, yeah, so I spent like an hour plus on Pinterest just going through GQ magazine poses or... Not, not, like GQ, GQ was my uh, basis, but I looked through a lot of photo photography shoot videos modeling shoot video uh, pictures videos wait a few videos um pinterest instagram just looking for a good reference for a post it surprisingly takes a while i even used like my um sh figure arts doll to try to post but me such a long time it was funny it was funny to watch if you think about it also, while you're here, if you watched my last video, which is the Merlin one, you might notice that the recording style between the two videos are different. So in the Merlin video, it was a screen capture of a different screen that would show that was more stable. Like I'd, I'd have the camera zoomed in in one place for a while and then work on that. And then you don't see the interface. It's a lot less dizzying to watch. But you don't see stuff like the brush strokes or, again, the, you don't see the interface, so you don't know what brush I'm using, you don't know what color I'm using until you actually see it on the drawing. 
this time I'm using my older style which is you see this the interface and screen chap capturing the actual screen slash program that I'm using and the difference would be is that as you see you can see all of my zooms you can see all of me bouncing around the canvas but you do see the bush joke so let me know which is more interesting or more fun to watch for you guys or does it even matter to you if uh, between the two, the, the two different styles because logically I, I, the way I draw is very very messy so sometimes I'd work on this part and I decide that maybe I don't like I don't want to walk, work on the hand for such a long time I jump to the leg or the abs just as an example so the other style is a bit more friendlier to that since you don't see all of me zooming in and out and flipping the canvas but also for me it's also important to see what brush I'm using or what how many layers into this I am or what layer style I'm using so let me know because I like both styles to be honest I'm just a little bit more conscious of you know the, the viewing experience so feel free to leave that in a comment down below and I'll think about it. Other than that, actually, since I'm recording this right now, it's currently February 8, 2020. The novella coronavirus is still going pretty strong. It's not... How they put this? It's very infectious, especially if you're currently in China. Yeah, if you're currently in Wuhan province, I mean, you're probably in quarantine or um, the city is on lockdown so that they're trying to prevent the spread of the virus. Right now, most a, a good part, a good number of countries have that already. Like they're, mm, I, as far as I remember, 30 something cases here in the Philippines that are being investigated so they're not confirmed to be end of just yet but I remember I think there are three confirmed cases there's been one death um yeah I hope you guys keep yourselves safe right now the best thing you can do is to wash your hands before you eat or um, just go around carrying a hand sanitizer with you when you go to public places and you touch a lot of stuff. For me, I I'm not too paranoid since it is infectious but it's not it's not completely spread yet to the point where I feel like I should just not leave the house type of thing. I mean, if, you, if I was in China or maybe Hong Kong, I'd be like that but like now I'm in the Philippines so things are kind of safer so i'm only right now just carrying out hand sanitizer i do have a mask with me but i don't always wear it um n95s are good but to be honest unless you're working in hospitals you don't really need it you're not on the front line kind of leave it to the medical professionals who actually need those supplies if, but you can always wear the normal masks that's the paper mask or the cloth mask after all it is the flu season so you might as well. I mean, if you're not getting end cover, you're probably gonna get something else, like a common flu or common cold, um, pneumonia even. So if you wanna be in, just be safe in general. But in terms of the end cover thing, just be alert. Don't panic. Everything's gonna be fine. People are working and doing their best to contain and combat it out. Yeah. Also, don't be assholes. Don't do pranks. I mean. There have been people who have been doing pranks regarding it and <sighs> don't do it. Like, just don't do it. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys stay safe. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's, you know, pretty fun to me. It's just normal rendering a character. That's a sneak preview of what you'll be seeing in the future. But until then, please subscribe if you want to see more. Like the video if you did enjoy it. And I'll see you around. Mm -hmm.